It is the 28th day of December, the 28th day of Vlogmas, 8 o'clock in the morning. I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming, Lord OGGM. Another day in the pajama apocalypse. Let's take a look at the gaming news for the last week of 2020. Oh my giddy aunt, what a year it has been. Okay, so um, this is actually old news, but uh, the lawsuit between Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman against Wizards of the Coast has been withdrawn and dismissed without prejudice. So um, what that means is that they can revisit it again if they wish to. We don't know why. We don't know what. Uh, all they've said is they can't say anything. So we assume settled out of court. Life moves on. Uh, new setting and information and gaming stuff for the Judge Dread RPG is being released. Um, um, so we have stuff on the new Chief Justices, Mega City One, a whole bunch of new stuff for the Judge Dread role playing game. It's been a while since we've seen anything from 2000 AD, so it's cool, cool to see new stuff. And speaking of 2000 AD, um, the Rogue Trooper campaign setting should be coming out pretty soon, or if not already out. So that'll be exciting to see them explore the world of Rogue Trooper and more of the world of 2000 AD in the Judge Dread world. It's always nice. Um, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, ba Dark Crystal Adventure game has been announced from River Horse. So if you like the Labyrinth Adventure game that they did, then this could be a lot simpler. It's a simple rules... GM toolkit, fold outs, maps, prosperity pages, 100 series of adventures that can be assembled into a single session game or an entire campaign. So if you're familiar with the Labyrinth role playing game, it's kind of a role playing game, kind of a board game. Uh, so it should be interesting to see. So we can click that from River Horse. Pazio has got some new Figures coming out for their Darklands Rising setting. So this is the... A kobold skeleton wearing a dress holding a stuffed bunny is far more settling than it is right to be. So it's a, basically it's a horror setting um, for um, Path fans. So we got a lot of horror stuff. The pictures they have is like some sort of ghoul some kind of flesh monster, and the kobold skeleton holding a bunny, which is pretty cute, but also pretty disturbing. Okay, for the, the Origins Awards has updated their nominations for the 2020-2021 cycle. Uh, new changes after feedback from the awards RPG jury. Uh, they've updated the categories for role-playing game to best role-playing game, core rule set, best role-playing game supplement, and best role-playing game adventure. So we can look forward to see what they have planned for 2021. Of course, 2020 uh, role-playing game of the year, according to Origins, was Teens in Space. Okay, we have a 3D printer bonanza this week's Humble Bumble. Uh, so if you want some 3D printed miniatures for board games, war games, and stuff like that. We have uh, that going up on the Humble Bowl this week. It benefits the No Kids Hungry Connection. Uh, there's still the uh, two other previous art bundles, the Pathfinder bundle and the Cyberpunk bundle from Artisolian are still both still up supporting their char charities over at Humble Bowl Bundle. And the map um, extravaganza bundle is still up at hum Humble Bundle. Humble, Humble Bundle. I'll never say that right, will I? Um, and that is about it for news this week, being it is the end of the year. We do have the nominees up for most anticipated role-playing game of 2021. So if you have a, a game that's coming out um, in 2021 that you are excited about, we have a list. It is pretty big. Uh, what am I excited about? Probably Dune, just to see how it's done. The Fallout role-playing game. It'll be interesting. Um, um, the Legends of Grayskull could be fun. Um, 
I don't know what I'm excited about for 2021. Role playing wise. Uh, oh, a bear. The re release of Aberrant under the new Trinity Continuum rules. That's definitely something exciting. Twilight 2000, of course. Yeah, so there's a couple of things coming out next year that I'm excited about. I will definitely pick, probably pick up Aberrant. So that brings the RPG news of this dumpster fire of the pajama apocalypse that is 2020 to an end. I hope you have appreciated this content. And um, if you want to see more of it in 2021... Let me know if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet to the OGGM Adventures. Please take a moment to subscribe. Help me hit 250 subs by New Year's Eve. I will greatly appreciate it. And when by subscribing, it lets you know when the next OGGM Adventure is posted. And there we go. That's it. That is all of the gaming news for the end of the year. Obviously, because it is the end of the year and everything is shut down, blah, blah, blah. We can't expect much more. I will, of course, have the uh, Kickstarter and publishing stuff news on Wednesday and my year in review stuff and stuff like that coming up. But that's it for the news. So thank you for being part of this part of the OGGM Adventures. And I will talk to you next year.